Hi, this is Anfisa from Retina Coach, and the topic today is how to identify the vitreous during vitrectomy. Vitreous is a transparent substance that should be properly removed during vitrectomy. There are a few ways to identify the vitreous strands. First one is visualization with no stain by using the light pipe illumination and watching the reflections from the vitreous fibers. Second one is chromavitrectomy. Chromavitrectomy implies use of dyes identifying the vitreous strands, for example, triamcinolone or less common dual blue dye. Probably one of the most common ways to highlight the vitreous fibers and detachment of the posterior haloid is triamcinolone. Triamcinolone is a corticosteroid consisting of a white particles. These crystals binds to the vitreous strands, thus enabling their visualization. Like most of the dyes during vitrectomy, triamcinolone injected over the optic nerve head or posterior pole and excess of the material is removed. You can see in this video how good triamcinolone visualizes the vitreous. Posterior halide in this case is still attached and the surgeon pull forward the vitreous strands from the peripapillary area to induce posterior vitreous detachment. Now I want you to compare a previous case with this one where posterior haloid was already detached. COVID rectum is performed and you can see multiple vitreous strands. Rule of thumb is that if you just begin the vitrectomy in non-vitrectomized eye and short time after you see that already no vitreous strands are present, it means that most probably posterior haloid is still attached and once you perform posterior vitreous detachment, a lot of vitreous suddenly appears. Initially, in this case, multiple vitreous strands were present, indicating that most probably posterior halide was already detached. Even so, the surgeon injected the triamcinolone to assure the posterior vitreous detachment. And indeed, no vitreous strands were identified by triamcinolone particles, pointing out that no halide was left. Dual blue dye is a combined solution suitable to provide staining for interlimiting and epiretinal membranes. In case of epiretinal membrane or macular hole where use of dual blue stain is planned, the same dye can be used without any additional cost to identify also the vitreous strands and to assure posterior vitreous detachment. In this video, you can see that surgeon injected the dual blue dye into the vitreous cavity just after the core vitrectomy and vitreous fibers excellently visualized. Now the surgeon performs posterior vitreous detachment and when this step will be completed, he will use the same dual blue dye to restain and identify the epiretinal and interlimiting membranes before peeling them. More videos you can find in our YouTube channel Subscribe to stay updated and share the videos with others. Also, we invite you to visit our Retina Coach website. Thank you for your attention.